My name is Shiva and my name is Aditya Kumar. We are from St. Claret PU College, Bangalore. This is an introduction video for Futurescape 24 Innovision, which is an event held by Christ Dean to be University at Pune Lavasa. So, our project is based on sustained agriculture, named as semi automatic seed sowing machine. And our project is guided by Nissan Kerala OV, who is a faculty at St. Claret PU College. So, what is a semi automatic seed sowing machine? Okay, the semi-automatic seed showing machine means that this is a machine which uh, goes into the soil and checks for the moisture in the soil. And when the moisture reaches the threshold value, only then it drops the seed. Now, you want to understand when I talk about the model, let's go drop into the model. Let's go see the model. Let's go. So this is our model. This is a, a semi-automatic seed sowing robot. I have used an ESP32 as a brains of this RC car. This essentially has a soil moisture sensor here. This part of the um, sensor will be under, under the ground. This senses the moisture in the soil. This part here is a seed dropping mechanism. The seeds will drop here and when the moisture in the soil is above a threshold value, the seeds will get dropped from here. Okay, you say that the seeds will be dropped from here, right? So this thing essentially holds seeds. So what if a bird's car, bird comes from above and starts eating the seeds? There is essentially two protective measures against that. One is the vehicle itself. As you can see, the vehicle is covered in a camo print. So this camo print helps it to camouflage against the wet soil of in farms. One more is that this has an LDR sensor. So when a bird or any animal comes and sits here in order to eat the seeds, it will beep. So this beep will scare away the birds or any animals trying to eat the seeds. Okay, so how do you move this thing now? So you connect this via Wi-Fi on your phone. Okay. As you can see, I have turned on my hotspot uh, hot hmm. and the ESP is already connected. You take this IP address, unique address of this ESP and put it into a Wi-Fi controller. As you can see, this controller, now I have programmed this to go forward and backward. If I move forward, this will move forward. And if I do backward, this will move backward. If I, ha I had mentioned earlier that this is automatic, this senses the moisture and automatically drops seeds. If you want to drop seeds manually at uh, particular intervals, there is a program button for that also. This one drops the seeds from here manually. So how do you turn this thing? Like you cannot turn this, you only front and back. You can turn this thing. This, this wheel over here hmm. is meant for steering. Okay. There is a steering slider here. So when you move the steering slider, the tire moves here. So this enables you to move this. Okay, so what's the range on this thing? Like how far can it go? The range is around the range of a hotspot, so around 10 to 15 meters. So with an external antennas, you can extend that range to how much ever you want. So like this, it moves forward and when it detects moisture in the soil, it drops seeds. Yeah, 
So, what are the future developments for this? Okay, so we have basically planned two things for the switch development. First thing is that now the farmer doesn't need to get, uh, go out every day on every time when he uh, when he wants to plow field. He just has to he just has to map this field using this robot. So we are going to uh, connect this uh, bot into us through a satellite. So whenever we move this, he has to just keep it in his field and uh, plow the field only once. Oh. From the next time, when he keeps it in the field, this will take the data from the satellite from the past plowing and it will move on move on its own. Second thing is that we can connect an antenna to this thing, which will uh, increase its uh, range to more than 15 meters above like uh, 50, 60 meters. Okay. So the farmer can sit under a shade and operate it from the shade. Okay. So it's more uh, reliable for him and easy for him. He doesn't have to do, uh, take much. Uh, mm. He doesn't have to take much sunlight and all and get stressed. Where do you think this can be used the most? Uh, this can be used in hilly areas where, uh, for example, coffee plantations and tea plantations. Those are in a higher altitude where it is hard to do manual labor. So we can uh, deploy this uh, machine over there. So it will be easier for planting. What is the code you have used for this thing? I've used Arduino coding, which is based on the language C++. How does this uh, compete with the bigger scale models of this own thing? Like there are big, big scale models which are automatic seed droppers, right? Yeah. Huh. So how is this better than that? This is not better than that. Okay. Those are large scale models meant for large scale farming. Huh. So they are a lot more expensive. Like it costs lakhs on lakhs together in order to deploy those machines. For example, a small scale farmer or a uh, farmer who is just starting might not have the money. Huh. So this cost me around only 2000 rupees to build. So this is really affordable for, farmer, for small scale farmers or farmers who are just starting. We had very much fun doing this thing, right? Yeah. We learned yeah, how to lot. code. We learned how to use these components. We learned how to make a RC car. What do you say? Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we thank Christ University for giving us an opportunity to showcase our model and idea in the Futurescape 24 Innovation event. We thank Sinclair FU College and our mentor for giving us our support and guidance in, uh, in bringing our model to life. So thank you all. Thank you.